Hey, welcome back guys, JC here, and here is how you uh, wire your FreeSky XM receiver to your flight controller, and I will show you how to set it up in Betaflight. So looking at the receiver, we will see, uh, you probably want to keep it with the antenna on top, as well as this big chip. Uh, the reason for that is because your LEDs are also on top, as well as your bind button, or technically, it's called a fell safe button. So holding it this way, I've got my ground wire going to the ground pad, my power wire going to the middle pad, and then my S bus signal wire on this left side. Normally with all my other receivers, I show you how to connect every single receiver to every single flight controller, but I'm not going to do that with this receiver because it's so simple. Uh, so this video will pretty much apply to everybody. On your flight controller, you need to locate a UART port because this is a S bus receiver, S bus uses UART. Uh, specifically, it uses a receive pin on a UART because UARTs have receive and transmit. On my specific flight controller here, uh, that is what I have run my uh, white S bus signal wire to, as well as power and ground. Just to give you a couple more examples uh, on this SP Racing Evo. You would have uh, you would look for where it says the negative five volt and then R two, which is re receive for UART number two. You just place your S bus wire on that. On this SP Racing Mini, if you look on the back side, you will see uh, a G for ground, five E for power, and then R one, which is receive for UART number one. The S bus wire goes to the R one. Let's just take a, uh, what is this, Seriously Dodo. You will have ground, then power, and then in this case it's not next to ground and power. Uh, in this example, we look on the back side and see U3RX, which means UART number three, receive on pin number three. So you would place your S bus wire on channel number three. And uh, you should get the idea by now. You just wanna find a receive on a UART and place the S bus wire on that. And also keep in mind what number the UART is because once we go into beta flight, uh, which we will do right now actually, you have to use that UART. So if I plug in my USB, at least on this flight controller, it powers the flight controller and receiver both. Not all flight controllers have this ability. Some of them you will have to plug in a LiPo battery to power the receiver. Either way, just make sure you have power to the receiver. Now in the last video, I showed you how to bind the receiver. If you have not yet bound it, hey JC, welcome back. then you need to go ahead and do that. Look in the description below, I will leave a link to my FreeSky XM playlist where you will find many other videos, including how to bind it. One more thing I should mention real quick, uh, because F4 boards are becoming more and more popular. FreeSky receivers have inverted SBUS and even telemetry signals. This doesn't have telemetry, but I'm just saying, it's inverted. Almost all F3 boards I have used, they have an inverter on all three UARTs, where on the F4 boards, a lot of them are only coming with one inverter on one of the UARTs, and the two other UARTs are not inverted. I'm really not trying to confuse you guys, I'm just letting you know that uh, if, we, if what we do next in Betaflight does not work for you, and you test out the receiver and it's not working, then you may have it on a UART that does not have a hardware inverter on the flight controller. So you will have to find that one UART that does have the inverter. So that way the flight controller can understand what this inverted signal is telling it. Okay, once we go into beta flight, what you want to do is uh, first, well actually first go to configuration, scroll down, and you want to set this to serial based receiver because we are using SBUS then choose what type of serial which is SBUS and then come down and save and reboot next we want to go to ports and uh, like I said everyone's going to be different you need to find the UART that you placed your SBUS wire on in my case, I placed it on UART number 3, so under Serial RX, I will turn it on for UART number 3. Once again, yours might be different. Uh, then go back to configuration. Sometimes 
your settings here don't save for example uh, it did it to me it reset it to ppm so you will choose serial based receiver once again make sure this is still set to sbus save again this problem doesn't happen with all flight controllers it's just some now everything should be working to test it go to the receiver tab and if you move your joysticks around roll pitch yaw and throttle should all be moving on the screen and if you have already created switches then you can test those out now and we're all good that's it uh, now if you don't already know like I said this receiver does not have telemetry so don't worry about trying to set up telemetry for that I just use an on-screen display that way I can see all of my sensors and all of that through my camera and that's going to do it for this video guys uh, I hope I helped you out once again look in the description below for the link to the playlist for other videos and I will see you again soon